Hello beautiful soul, welcome back to another video. Today's video, the topic is, it's time to answer your calling. It's time to answer your calling. You have been thinking about starting that thing for a long time. And right now more than ever, you probably have a burning desire, a deep need, like a mandatory calling and just this inner fire in you to be free, to be financially free, to work for yourself, to be away from uh, you know, negative environments, institutions, all these things. And you answering your calling, whatever that calling is inside of you, is the key to unlocking the freedom in which you seek. And it could be for months that you've wanted to do this now, or maybe even years, maybe even decades. But you know for a fact deep in your heart that what you're currently doing or have been doing professionally uh, or for fun, whatever it may be, is not for you. There's something else in your heart you've wanted to do for a long, long time. It is now time, take this video as your confirmation, that it's time to answer that calling. It's time for you to step up and start your own business. It's time for you to step up and become a professional photographer or a professional artist or begin playing local gigs as a musician, maybe even with bigger recognition in mind. It's time for you, whatever that calling is in your heart, it's time to do that. It's time to step into your power and pursue what it is that you want most in your life. There's a emptiness, a lack of something that's currently in your life and it's time to step it up. In your life currently, you may be experiencing some extremely difficult circumstances. Maybe you just got fired from your job or you're experiencing financial hardship or maybe you just have had it up to here with the place, the environment that you're currently in, in which you work, the people you're around, and you just can't take it anymore, you know that something has got to give. Again, this is your confirmation, this is your sign. It's time to step it up and take the jump, make that leap. Because there's no other way in this life that you will truly ever feel fulfilled unless you answer this calling in your heart that you have to do. If you've been experiencing challenges in your life, these financial hardships, uh, you know, breakups, relationships, whatever it is, fill in the blank, life is difficult right now on the outside. This is the universe pushing you towards what you need to be doing, what you should be doing. You have that calling in your heart for a reason. And the reason is, is because that's what you were supposed to and are supposed to right now be doing on the planet. That's your part. That's how you're going to best serve others. That is going to how, be how you best serve yourself by answering whatever it is and taking the leap of faith forward and making sure that you answer it. Otherwise, life may become even more difficult and you may have, of course, in the tarot deck what's called a tower moment where if you're not learning by love, and here's the sign of love coming from the universe through me, that this is a gentle and loving supportive push to do that, then things may really get hectic and start burning down to the ground. Maybe you've already started experience this and you're like, okay, I get it, I can't do this. And you actually get booted from your job or the relationship you're in, uh, you, you, know, you break up, whatever that is. And it's not necessarily with relationships, it's more about your professional path. It's more about your even more so beyond the professional aspect of it, it's something that you would do with your life and your time even if you weren't getting paid. There's something that gives you more fulfillment and more joy that when you do it, you may sit down and think you're sitting down for 10, 20, 30 minutes, maybe an hour, and you look up and three, four, five, six hours, maybe a whole day has gone by and it doesn't even feel like it because you've been in the flow. That's when you know that you're in your purpose and your calling. At this time of ascension, right now in which the mass consciousness of the planet is moving at a faster rate and will continue to speed up at an even faster rate right now we're being called 
as people, as light workers, as souls down here to answer this call. Maybe it is time for you to start your YouTube channel. Maybe it is time to, again, pursue uh, photography and start doing your own business and take photography classes. Maybe it's something as simple as uh, starting to write poetry because you love poetry. Whatever it is, you have to listen to that and honor it. This is your purpose. This is why you're here. And this is the path to your happiest, healthiest, most successful, wealthy, abundant, and fulfilled life. This is the key. So you may or may not right now have the final vision in your mind and say, dang it, Pierce, I know exactly what you're talking about. I've been wanting to do this forever and I'm supposed to do it. It's my time. You may know exactly how that looks at the end or have an idea of what that final vision looks like, or you may not. Your job right now is to just take the first step. Take the first step. As the saying goes, the journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step. And here's the thing, even if you know the final vision of what it is you want to do or you don't, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that you take that first step. As you take that first step, there's a lot of things that will begin to happen. You will have doors that are actually already open to you, but you may not be noticing. You'll start to notice those doors. Or as you take the step, all of a sudden the floodgates will open and all the right opportunities, the resources, the people that you need will begin to flow into your life as a result of this. If you don't know what that final vision is, maybe you don't even know what that purpose is. As long as you follow in your heart whatever is calling you most right now and take that first step, you will then see the second step and the third step and the fourth step and the path will begin to light up and be revealed to you. You may think you want to do, again, I don't know why it's coming to my mind, photography. Okay, you've never taken pictures in your life, but you've always wanted to do uh, nature photography, right? Be a, a natural wildlife photographer or something like that. I don't know the first thing, I don't even own a camera. Okay, well your job is to just look into that profession or buy a cheap camera or take a photography class if you bought that camera and you haven't started using it yet. And even if what you think you want to do, which is be a wildlife photographer, for example, isn't the final goal, and you start taking that class and go, I don't like this at all. This is not it. You may meet someone in that photography class who is a retired so-and-so uh, or an aspiring musician, and you may wanna start taking along the path because even though you hate it, you've, you know how to play piano, and your parents forced you to do it, and that's why you hate it, because they forced you. Now all of a sudden you've made a connection in that photography class and this person is looking for a tutelage on how to become a piano player or whatever it is. And then then that will lead to another connection or another opportunity. We don't know the path and exactly how it's supposed to look and where it will lead us unless we take that first step and the second step and then the third step. This is your intuition. This is your spirit guides guiding you and illuminating the path, that's why you're watching this video. It's well overdue and it's time. Especially a sign that you know it's time for you to take this step. If you're feeling super burnt out lately, if you're feeling exhausted, again, if you're feeling super unfulfilled with your work, your workplace, anything in your life you just can't take anymore, these are clear signs. Along with this video, as confirmation is, it's time to make the leap. It's time to make the jump. The other part about taking the first step and not knowing is that that is the fun. That is the adventure. That's what this is about. If you knew exactly how all this was going to work out, where would the fun be? Where would the adventure? Where would the excitement be? I mean, if you already knew the whole storyline and ending to a movie with all the plot twists, would you really want to watch it? No. Sure, there are some movies you want to rewatch because you love them, but you get the point that I'm trying to make with that example. If you already knew the storyline, if you knew what the ending was going to look like, well, where would be the fun in that? Why would you even go see the movie? You've already seen it. So it's the same thing with your journey. You don't know where it's going to lead. This is where trust and faith come in. You've got to take the leap and just see where it leads you because the greatest adventure, the prosperity you're looking for, the abundance in your life, maybe even the love of your life, 
may be right around the corner as a result of you taking the step and following the calling in your heart. One of the great spiritual teachers in my life that he's passed on to the next life now, but I know he's right there smiling in spirit with us on camera, on video right now is the late, great Dr. Wayne Dyer. And I always remember a saying or a quote from one of his talks. And he said, don't die with your music still in you. So you cannot die with your music still in you. Whatever that calling is in your heart, whatever it is you want to do most, you have got to go and pursue that. If you're watching this, again, you're probably a light worker, a star seed, a light warrior, etc. fill in the blank, you know what I'm talking about. A soul with a destined purpose that knows that there's a greater fulfillment and calling beyond the monotony of the day to day and the nine to five and the programming that we've all been told you know, to do. And you desire freedom more than anything in your life. Financial freedom and freedom of your time. You can do what you want, when you want, with whoever you want. You can go different places. You can try different things. You can live a life of adventure. That's how you're supposed to live. That freedom is right around the corner and it's tied to your purpose. As you follow the first step, take the first step, take the leap of faith, begin to go down the path, your freedom will begin to increase your sense of inspiration, your creativity, it will all start to come. But the current energy that you've been in with your situation, with your normal routine is what has you blocked. So you've got to take the first step. Everything that you've been praying for, everything that you've been asking for, everything that you want in your life, everything that you wanna be, that you wanna do in your life, all the things you wanna have are on the other side of you taking the first step and following your path, whatever that is for you. The most important thing, and I've repeated myself over and over in this video for a reason, it's intentional, is to just start, is to just take the first step. A big block of taking that first step is per perfectionism, is wanting to know exactly how it looks, is to having all the perfect details planned out. You don't need to do that. As a matter of fact, the more you do that, and I'm not saying, of course, please don't take it out of context that you should be reckless and quit your job and go do this unless that's practical for you and you have the opportunity and the freedom to do that, you should go do that. I'm saying you've got to let go of having every minute detail planned out in the perfect way and just get started. Because in reality, trying to over plan and be perfect with how the process is gonna look is actually blocking the magic and the unexpected opportunities, miracles, blessings, chance encounters, synchronicities from actually taking place. Because here's the thing, if you have all the details planned out and it has to happen exactly how you have it planned out in each step in every minute detail, well one, again, you already know the ending and the plot to the movie and you've already seen it. You're also just creating the same thing that you've always created in your life because you're creating from what's familiar. This is supposed to be a grand adventure in which you're stepping into the unknown. That's when all the magic and the blessings and the power of the universe can come to your aid. Along the lines of just taking the first step, you could also be watching this video and you're already on your path. You're already have taken the first step or steps or have been on this path for a while. This is also confirmation for you that it's time to up your game. It's time to step it up. It's time to take it to the next level of time, of energy, of investment, and improve your skills, your education, your knowledge, your connections, your networking, whatever it is intuitively that you know you need to do in your heart that you've needed to do. This is your confirmation that it's time to step your game up if you already are on that path. If you've noticed, I'm sure you have, here I am and I've got my camera set up now. You know, I'm, I've got my, you know, my nice mic, I've got the lighting, and I've thought about, okay, how, what is it time for me to do? What is it time for me to do? So I was just getting in the habit of making content, filming in my car, which is great, and the messages are pure, they're the same here. It is a bit of an adjustment, I'm not gonna lie. It's like a little more structured and feels more official right now, and that's the point. It's supposed to be because I'm practicing what I preach, 
It's time for me to step my game up. It's time to step my game up in my delivery, my speaking skills. Can I be succinct and brief in my messages getting straight to the point? Can I elevate my content in a way that's more appealing to a greater audience so that I can reach more people and touch more lives? Do I need to learn technical knowledge about uh, YouTube and SEO and um, thumbnails and video editing? Yes, the answer is yes. So this is a personal example for me about how I'm elevating my game. And if you've been on your path, it's time for you to elevate your game. It's time for you to step it up in a certain way. It's time for you to make the investment in the education, the course, the mentorship, find somebody that's already doing it the way you wanna do it and take it to the next level. You're right there and it's all at your fingertips and on its way right around the corner. So the two quotes I'll leave you with today. The first one is, as I had mentioned before, the late great Dr. Wayne Dyer, don't die with your music still in you. Don't die with your music still in you. You've got this calling in your heart. It doesn't matter what age you are. It doesn't matter what you've been through. All that matters is that you're here right now and you're receiving this message that it's time to begin. It doesn't matter if you're 75 and you've always wanted uh, to go out and learn salsa dancing. Go and learn salsa dancing. I don't, don't, you know what I mean? There's no limits, like go and do it. Don't die with your music still in you. You've got to listen to this calling in your heart. There's magic and miracles waiting to happen and come into your life. The second quote I'll leave you with is from Walt Disney. All of our dreams come true if we just have the courage to pursue them. Everything that you've been asking for and praying for, it's all available to you and it is right around the corner. You just have to be willing to take the first step. So that is what I got for you today, guys. I love you so much. Please let me know what you think in the comments if you wanna chat. I love connecting with you. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if the content resonated with you or share the video if you know someone that needs to see this as well. I appreciate you, I'm so grateful, and I'll see you soon in another video. Peace.